The investigation moving forward into text messages erased by the Secret Service during the January 6th attack on the Capitol. Grant Herms reports Michigan Senator Gary Peters details the next steps now in the investigation. Now, Peters says getting these deleted texts is crucial, especially after what we heard from the January 6th committee hearings and the fact that those hearings aren't coming back until the fall. He said he wants to know what these agents were talking about, especially as some of them were talking about being afraid for their lives. Michigan Senator Gary Peters telling reporters for the first time the Senate has started its own probe into text messages erased by the Secret Service that were sent during and around the January 6th attack on the U.S. Capitol. We are investigating and we, we haven't announced a, a formal investigation, but there's no question uh, we're actively engaged. Peters is the chair of the powerful Committee on Homeland Security, which has some of the legislative body's most potent investigative powers. You know that they were sending text and they were communicating. We need to look at those uh, communications. The fact that they have uh, been erased uh, uh, is beyond me as to any possible explanation. Uh, anybody with basic common sense uh, would not erase those kinds of critical pieces of information knowing the gravity of what happened on January 6th. So we, uh, uh, we are asking those questions. We're going to be aggressive. The Senate inquiry comes amid a criminal investigation by the Department of Homeland Security's Inspector General and after agents were asked to preserve their texts three times, having been requested by the January 6th committee. The head of the Secret Service saying there was no malicious intent and the deleted texts were part of routine maintenance, saying in a statement, we have provided thousands of documents, operationally sensitive radio transmissions and access to Secret Service employees. We will continue to cooperate fully with the January 6th committee and any other investigative body. Still, Peter is saying he doesn't like the way any of it looks. It is it's certainly incredibly suspicious. Uh, I certainly uh, don't like appearances. I'll reserve judgment until we've had a chance to investigate. Now, for right now, the investigation is still informal, although in Peter's words, it could be taken to the next level within the coming days. The next January 6th committee hearing isn't set until September. Grant Herms, Local 4.